bolts on to the cassowary. I drilled an eye socket there, which I'll put some maybe some black sand around it. You can see the nice crest shaved a little bit off of the beak. I'm not sure how finely tuned I want to make that. This one is such a perfect wave. I just I almost don't even want to do any drilling on it because it's it's just so perfect the wood and the neck down there. Maybe just doing more uh, resin type stuff and then. You know, I'll probably put a surfer here, and I was thinking about up in this corner, you know, somehow coming underneath that lip. So, I've also got a surprise on the back. Here's the back side, and it's just the wood is beautiful on this side with natural curls, and I had some... Uh, crocodile teeth left so it's hard to tell but I was thinking about a t-rex right here with some different eyes and I put some crocodile teeth in you know down along here and then the mouth uh, is a funnel how drill a hole and the surfers can come up here I have some maybe some miniatures in here and kind of surf down in through that piece I'm not sure where they're gonna land though have a new addition to the T-Rex head on the other side. I am put in a wave and I don't know where I'm going to have the surfer coming down but they come down they shoot and then they're going to land in a shell that's going to have some sand from pipeline if I have enough left or some black sand and I spent a little bit of time trying to figure out if I could make a you know some kind of extra landing area here down in this section having them coming through I tried a bunch of variations but it didn't really work out I just thought this shell would look really cool but it's going in the junk heap so I think this will look really nice and uh, we'll see how it turns out but that pretty much finishes this project I just need to do the painting and I need to get the eyeball in over here so We'll see how it goes. Tough choice here. I got Jerry Lopez and some other dude is going to be following him. Got his lightning bolt boards. I kind of messed up on the arrow or the lightning bolt on that one, but I did a better job on that one because he used a smaller brush. And I did a wash on him. He's going to be tucked up under here so you can't see him much question is whether to wash or not to wash because it, it highlights some areas but it can look a little bit weird and he looks pretty good just like that I don't think I want to mess it up so I'm gonna leave him I think well made a big decision I was gonna put the Jerry Lopez crouching figure here which I already painted but then I found in my box of surfers a different one that I hadn't realized was there before and I'm gonna need to repaint but look at that I mean that's actually the way Jerry used to stand and he's got the long hair and I think that's gonna fit a little better I talked to my consultant Owen he thought this one looked a little bit better so I'm gonna go do some more painting see if I can get a better lightning bolt on that one for Jerry too a little hard to tell here, but I added some blue tint and, uh, and then some glow-in-the-dark paint for the surfer who's going to come out. And then there's going to be a shell that's down here with some uh, sand from the pipeline in it. It's going to look nice. And the teeth are coated with white resin. Can't tell real good, but... Those teeth are going to go on the alligator and back here. Got some resin on the wave. And some resin on the cassowary. Kind of creating that wave. That's going to be the primary wave. That piece up there is going to get be red. And then here's the attempt at some of the 
you know, I guess the spray that's coming off the surfboards. I tried to figure out what shape it's going to be. I don't know how that's going to turn out, but I'm going to try to put that behind the surfboards and make it look cool. So, pretty happy with how that all turned out. Well, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far here. I got my Jerry number two hanging 10 on his lightning board. And I had to clip a piece off, but I think that contrail looks pretty sweet, almost like an eyebrow. That's sort of what I was hoping for. Let's see how uh, I may try something else, but that's probably what it's going to be. And here's surfer number two up under the lip and he's got the contrail I didn't fan it out enough at the end but I think that'll still look good on the black light next to the hot tub got some new changes on the cassowary I went with the metallic red paint for the crown which I think looks awesome I'm just trying to figure out if I want to put actual colored resin on it because that might change it but and then I got the contrails in as you can see I put a contrail in for Jerry's head which I don't know just thought was funny sort of cool and then I added a blue metallic paint line to outline the beak just because it's not obvious and it was kind of blurry so we'll see how that goes but I love how the contrail looks like kind of an eyebrow and it's pretty close to being done. The wave wrecks would just not be complete without a good beach scene. So I took some of the old fragments that I'd put on the wax paper for trails, uh, contrails on the surf, and I glued it on to the shell and I sprinkled it with um, sand from pipeline. And course you got to have an observer there hanging out who doesn't like to be watched when you're making a nice cut back there so good landing area you know hang out on the sand play around in the water one more step with Casa Jerry I switched it from Cassowary to Casa Jerry since Jerry Lopez is going to be the surfer on there I outlined it not with resin, but with just some glow-in-the-dark paint. And um, so it's, that's not going to light up too much. And there's Jerry. I went with just solid red on the crest, which is, looks just really cool at night. It came out well. But I wanted the outline so you could see the beak. And so my last thing i got to do is put the eyeball in. And I'm going to go with uh, an orange-yellow background you know deep in the eye socket and then put the eyeball in but when it's starting to harden I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of black sand from Costa Rica or uh, New Zealand around it since um, uh, that cassowary has kind of a black ring but I don't want to get all of it so you can still light it up and you notice anything about his contrails he's got a head contrail new and improved I also uh, put the eyeball on wave Rex and I'm hoping that when it's really dark those light areas in his iris light up and then he's kind of got the background blue behind it which looks good Otherwise, everything is done. Just got to glue a few pieces on once I get to Cali. The black sand from New Zealand has a destiny. And that destiny is around the outside of this eyeball on Casa Jerry. She lights up real nice. So I was going to drop some screens around the edge before it hardens but it's still too soft to put the eyeball in so we're at a critical moment some people might say hey why put an eyeball in there at all that looks pretty good 
but I just don't like the blank stare. It goes right through me. Still can't believe Jerry showed up for this shoot. I called him up, said, Jerry, hey, how about a little something for the cassowary? He said, what's in it for me? I said, how about a head con trail? And he said, damn right, I'm in. Just when I thought we were all square, Jerry calls me a couple days later, says, hey, can you throw something else in there for me? And I said, yeah. Just talk to Kai Lenny. He's going to be trailing behind you with a video cam. Is that good enough? He said, big tubs. He goes, you're all right. Here's the final Casa Jerry. Or in reverse, that's Jerry Wary. And we got the eyeball in. Crest. I put in Kai Lenny. And you can't tell right there, but he's got a little piece of resin on his forehead. That is the orange from the eyeball. And it's a little camera on his forehead. Videotape and all the fun. And in the tail, let's take a look at it with the light off. Oh, it lights up real nice. Little grains of dark sand from New Zealand. Jerry Wary. Well, you can see a little headlamp there on Kai. Getting some good footage. This crest, I think, turned out nicely. Hope you enjoy it. And on the flip side of Casa Jerry, we have Wave Rex. Can't see the details very well, but there's a guy standing up here, hanging out. You kind of come out on your stomach when you go through the mouth, down by those snaggly teeth. And then you bodyboard sort of up the top, you wait your turn. Then you drop down on the wave. This guy is hitting the bank to go into the pool and the beach. And let's see how that looks. Okay. Hmm. It's cool. Kind of looks like a woodpecker. Okay. And then you get over to the head of the Rex. And the teeth aren't really in right. There's another one that I couldn't fit in yet, but he's got a hole underneath that mouth that you slide in there, and that's how you get into the wave. The eye didn't turn out quite as good as I hoped, but this is what you got with the background. It's still pretty cool. And you can see a little bit of the rim from the other side over the head. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to do a strip of paint. Um, just to outline the head a little bit better. It's just such a cool shape. And um, so that when you hit it with the light, the head itself will glow a little. It's not going to be with like the resin. But teeth that came out actually pretty good, I think. <laughs> Those are sweet. Nice. Well, here at Big Tubs Diorama. We like to go big or go home. And I just wasn't satisfied with the outline of the wave wrecks. So I looked it up and the males were green. So I didn't have brown for the glow in the dark paint. So I went with an outline with green. And I just kind of wanted to look at the lake. It looked a little more badass. And now at least it's got a little bit of an outline. And I wanted to give it um, kind of an eyebrow to make the, you know look a little more intense. And I think it kind of turned out to look a little bit like a pterodactyl. So I'm happy with that. Gives it a little bit more oomph. The last little piece that I didn't tell you about 
with uh, putting on that glow in the dark around the rim of the wave wrecks is that I, while the paint was still wet I sprinkled it with some sand so that I could get a good mixture in there. I think the tails Costa Rica black sand. I did the crest at the top with some Kenny Bunk white and New Zealand uh, black sand I think is right along this portion and then some of the white sand from New Zealand Kenny Bunk down can't see it real good but there's some you can see it sprinkled I gotta brush it off but just a little touch hey Jerry a couple things you probably don't know about Jerry back when he was living in Bali he and his friend Rory they surfed a lot of Uluwatu but they got tired and they ventured out and they found a wave just like this secret spot and they called it cassowaries. Hasn't been surfed much since. So when he found out there was another one to ride, he was all over it. He's got a special bond with the bird. They called to him, surf me, in a very squeaky voice. <laughs> 